Hey guys, in this video we will discuss how to use prompt for PS queries. So let's go to query manager, go to reporting tools, query, query manager. Let's try to create a new query. Select any table, say ledger. Click add record. Select all fields. So let's try to create a prompt for business unit. Click on business unit use as criteria. Here you can see choose expression type either field, expression, constant, prompt, subquery. Select prompt. Click on new prompt that will open a screen where you can see on the field name business united is mentioned click ok click ok again so this will add a prompt called business unit let's try to run this here you can see that business unit will come as a selection prompt field select us001 and you can see the results for all us001 now say next you want to create another prompt for account we can do it number of ways let's try this go to prompts click add prompt click on field name type account click search and select account field now here if you see edit table we have options no table edit prompt table translate table yes no table now we can select prompt table and select a prompt table which is having all the account values as you know gl underscore account underscore tbl is the table which is holding all the account values you select it click OK we have created a new prompt however we haven't attached it to any field yet so for doing so go to fields go to account add criteria select prompt and choose expression to type and click on select prompt button and select account click OK and it will attach another criteria on account let's check it go to criteria here you can see that account field is attached with another prompt let's try it click on run provide unit us001 and account try to click this lookup account you can see that all the accounts are listed here another point to note here is if you click on advanced lookup set id automatically come as share this is happening because we have selected business unit us001 which is having default set ID as share. Let's select any account. Click OK. Now you can see that for business unit US001 account 4 and 5 zeros will be shown. So this is the basic simple prompts that we can create on our queries. After that you need to just save your query with the required name. There is another way of adding in one more prompt. We go to fields say for department ID we will click add criteria simply click on prompt 
new prompt and for department ID it will automatically pick prompt table as well click OK OK so this will add prompt for department if I go to query you can see that for department ID there is already a by default joint for department TBL that is the reason it is picking up the prompt table by default you click on run you can see that unit account and department are the three prompts now now say you want to change name here instead of unit you want business unit you can change it go to prompts for business unit click on edit and for the heading text use business unit click OK now you can see it has changed to business unit that's all in this video I hope this video will help thank you for watching have a nice day